Hello friends and welcome back to Painted Kids. This is Jessica and today we're going to be learning to draw Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Now what you'll need today is a piece of paper, a pencil, a black marker, and coloring pencils. Or you can use crayons or markers, whatever you want to use to color your drawing. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to be drawing is going to be Belle's face and I'm just going to um, make almost a, a U shape that isn't quite all the way up. Um, and I want to make my character's face very round. Now I'm not going to be drawing Belle exactly like she appears in the movie, but an overall uh, Belle looking princess and so I want her face to be very round because Disney characters are Notorious for having those very round faces. So now I'm going to start doing her hair and her bangs And I'm just going to do two little curved lines almost like I'm drawing a seagull And then I'm going to bring it down and kind of curve and add a little hook to it and then I'm going to add another curved line that comes around the face and kind of bumps in and out almost like um, a smushed sideways M or um, you know a sideways heart kind of a feeling and I'm just mimicking those bangs and really trying to get that hairstyle down that that we recognize when we think of Belle. And so I'm gonna go and do the other bang and I'm just going to follow along that line that I already created and I'm gonna come down and I'm actually going to add uh, a little bump or a hook and then right in between that that's this, this is where I'm putting her ear and her ear is just an oval shape that comes around and then I put a little curved line in the inside of the ear just to show that she has an inside of the ear and then a circle for her earring. And now I'm going to do the top of her head and it's just going to be a circle, half circle that kind of comes around um, almost like if Belle's head was the circle and I'm just finishing off the, the second half of it. And then a half circle for her bun and then a line around it for her little um, hair piece. So now I'm doing the neck and on one side I'm just bringing the line straight down and I'm gonna curve it out a little bit and then the second line is just gonna go straight down and I'm gonna put just kind of a, a um, half circle right off of the base of the neck and that's where the shoulder is. And then I'm going to be doing a diagonal line and then a straight down line and that's gonna be the top of her book. And then once I have that, I'm just going to do almost a heart if it was stretched out and that's going to be where her sleeve is going to be. And I'm going to tuck it underneath that, um, that line that I drew that came straight down. And now I'm just completing a almost square shape on the top, but I'm, I'm bringing it in a little bit for where the pages of the book are going to be. And then I'm just bringing those uh, corners down with a, with a straight line and that's what's going to make it look like it's a book. Now I'm going to be doing that arm that's holding that book and so I'm just going to bring it out and around from behind the book and then I'm just doing a line right alongside the book so it really looks like she's holding on to it. And now I'm going to be doing the, um, the arm on the other side here and I'm just doing two slanted lines next to each other and the farther and closer your li lines are the, the thinner or bigger your arm is going to look. And then I'm, I'm still slanting my line, but I'm making it more straight to show, like to bring her arm up instead of making it just fall straight down. And then I'm just adding an oval at the end there. And now I'm going to be doing a curved line towards the top of her arm. And that's just going to show that she's wearing uh, gloves because that's part of Belle's main outfit is her ball gown and a pair of gloves. And now I'm just going to um, indicate where her fingers are. I'm not going to worry about doing it individually right now. And I just do a line where the knuckle of the hand is and then I just draw a couple lines towards the very bottom of the oval there and just indicate the the fingers. So they're there but I'm not going to spend too much time putting them in full detail. Now I'm doing the torso and for the first line I just do a straight line but for the back line that's more her, her back I'm just curving it just a little bit. So now I'm doing the hair and I'm just going to bring it off of her her ear right there and I'm going to bring it down in an S shape and then once I get to a point I'm going to come back around. So now I'm going to just be doing the skirt of her gown and I'm going to start almost towards the center of the torso 
and then bring it up and bring it down. And then I'm going to go to the front and I'm gonna have it poking up from under the line that I already drew and then it's gonna go down, but then it's going to come back up and meet her hand so it looks like she's holding a piece of her dress up. Now I'm going to do another diagonal line and I'm gonna start it a little ways down, but then I'm going to bring it up to meet her hand. And it's gonna stop about um, halfway. I don't want it to, I don't want this fold to go all the way down to the floor. And then I'm going to make another line and then a little curve line at the bottom. And then I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit, almost like it's a trumpet shape. And then once I've done bringing it in, I'm going to do a diagonal line down. And then I'm going to curve off on the other side and I'm gonna do just two little waves. And then at the point of um, the little wave, I'm going to draw just a straight line to make it look like it's fabric. And then uh, that diagonal line that I brought all the way down is gonna be the very bottom of her dress so I can um, connect the two sides. And I'm just putting a couple little waves in as I go just to make it feel like the skirt is moving a little bit. And then I just connect it with um, the front part of my skirt there so it's almost looking like a, a little teardrop but that's going to make it look like the skirt is moving. So now I'm going to get started on Belle's face and I'm just going to give her two uh, roundish eyes. Now you can do eyes any way you want, you don't have to do them like I'm doing them but um, Disney characters are kind of known for their round eyes so I want to mimic that a little bit but I'm not going to give her exact Disney eyes um, and so I'm doing a little little round shapes for my eyes, giving her little eyebrows. Um, for her nose, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm just gonna do like a tiny little sideways triangle and then just a little line um, in between her eyes to look like it's the bridge of her nose. And um, I kind of made mine a little long, so I'm gonna shorten it a little bit because I don't want it to be too, too long. And then I'm going to do her mouth, but she's gonna have an open smile. So I just do a little smiley face. And then I do kind of a curved shape at the bottom to make it look um, like uh, her mouth is open. And then I just do lines that follow those um, shapes that I made and just make them super close so that way they look like lips. And then for her eyes, I really want them to be uh, super, you know, fun and whimsical and cute. So I'm just going to um, make two circles in my eyes and they're not going to be perfect circles because it's like only half of the, the pupil is showing so I'm just doing curved lines to make them look a little bit like circles and then I'm going to add two circles um, to the actual iris slash pupil of my eyes and I'm not going to worry too much about separating the pupil and the iris because I'm going to do that when I color I just want to get those highlights in there so that way I know where not to color and there you go, there's Belle's face. So now we're gonna be designing her skirt because um, that's kind of the thing that really sets her apart from a lot of other Disney princesses is the design of her skirt. So I'm just gonna start by making um, curved lines down the length of her dress. So and I'm gonna do about, I think three or four of these. So you just want to start at the very top of your skirt and then you're just going to swoop it down and you want them to um, kind of follow your waves and the curves of the skirt that you put in um, because by doing that it, it's going to make it look a little bit more real and alive than just putting perfectly straight lines down it. Now once I have my lines in I'm just going to add little curves in between the lines. I'm just going to do it and I'm even going to put curves on the piece of skirt that she's holding up but they're not going to look exactly like how the ones on the full skirt um, are. And I'm just going to go and do two rows of these and then um, after I do this row we're going to switch it up a little bit because Belle kind of has this um, little drapey design going on on her skirt and so what I'm going to do is just do the same idea of the curved line but then I'm going to add another line just under that so it almost looks like she has draped fabric that's connected by our circles across her skirt. And you're gonna just do this all the way across the skirt. And I'm even going to add this to the piece of fabric that she's holding up because even though she's holding it up and it might look differently, it's still technically happening to the skirt. And I'm just erasing the straight lines that I put 
through the circles so that way when I go back and I'm using my marker I don't accidentally draw that straight line through it there. So now I'm going to do the curved lines that I did for the first two rows on the bottom of the skirt and I'm just going to bring it all the way across. And now I'm just going to be adding the curved lines that I put on my skirt um, on the piece that she's holding. And then I'm also going to add these little um, little bumps like I'm doing like a bunch of M's. And that's just going to be the underside of her skirt and I'm just putting that in all those places there so it actually looks like she's lifting it up and it's not just empty. And then I just finish off um, the lines that I did on my full skirt on the piece of fabric that my bell is holding. So now I'm just going to do the last little part and I'm just going to do the other side of Belle's hair and it's going to start around her cheek and then it's just going to curve into her forearm there. And that is our Belle. So now what I'm going to get started in doing is sharpening. So with this one I'm not just going to use a big sharpie marker, I'm actually going to use a fine point marker here. And it really doesn't matter what brand you use, um, I even believe sharpie has... Um, a set now where it's fine point markers like this and then a thick marker on the other side and I'm just gonna go through with the thin side and I'm going to um, outline my my bell drawing and um, for her face you definitely want to use a fine point marker just because it is so small and there's these little details that can quickly get lost if you're using a bigger marker so now my bell is almost completely done and I'm just taking my marker and I'm filling in my bell's eyes and then after you're done with the marker you just grab your color pencils, your crayons, markers, anything you want to use and you can color in your bell any colors that you want. And I'm actually going to take this image and put it in my computer and paint it digitally. And there she is completely done. And I just took her and I colored her in Photoshop. So if you liked what you saw here today, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. And let me know if you would like to see how I paint digitally or if you would like to see digital painting in any of our future videos. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time.